Hey guys, Road Warrior back here. I recently placed first place in the uh, spotted and banded competition here on Fish and Planet. I was just kind of going to show you marks here. Uh, basically, this first spot you spawn up here, and you'll see me all, later on in the clip. I'll show you me actually fishing there. I'm kind of hopping around, just kind of show you where to spawn. Uh, this spot up here also has the uh, banded keynote on all these. It's got the uh, flag tail, uh, the spotted, uh, the banded, as well as the Oscar now. Uh, even though the Raku count, you're better off just because the bandit are a little longer. So you want to target the, you know, at least try to get you a three unique bandit. Here's another spot on Orchard Shore. A lot of people are familiar with that. Uh, this spot here towards the end right here is another spot that I usually use in the event that you need that. And I'll show you an upcoming clip of me catching fish there as well. Uh, I think I rotated there last. Uh, did no particular order either on which way you want to go. But I wanted to make sure you guys have plenty of marks for this. Um, again, over here, this spot here is uh, courtesy of my friend Jordan Stringed Weber. That's off the uh, dock spawn there to the right. Also, mm, there's another spot here. Uh, this spot here I found a long time ago, and I actually, uh, I don't even think I have a mark for this, but they are out there. Uh, right there off the end is cast anywhere out there. Just to save markers for myself, I didn't, but I will show you me catching banded right there as well. And then the spot here off the beach. This might be a common spot to some anybody else that uh, might have farmed here back in the day for other fish. Uh, this is fairly common, well-known spots for these things uh, right here off. But just an event that you didn't have them. Uh, all around that stick and even the short mark as well, I've caught them up close. I just never remarked the marks. Okay, now on for the winning run here. Uh, hook, hook wise, I would say, you know, Barbless 2 or Barbless 2, Barbless 1, all the way up to Barbless 1 0. 1 0, I think, does seem to produce bigger fish. Could give you a slower bite rate. Another key note here keep track here. Uh, something that nobody can usually help you with. Uh, but you have four different species. So once you kind of had a couple cycled through, I caught a unique Oscar and a spotted, it gets tricky whether you want to rotate or not. This, in fact, I ended up staying just a amount of time that I needed to to get this in and I almost actually rotated out because it seemed like I'd wasted too much time here but those are all gut calls on your on your part there guys but uh, thankfully I was doing this live stream and I almost talked myself out of uh, staying here but I ended up staying and thankfully that I did uh, that's my new PB 13.7 pound uh, banded there so that definitely was key me winning in this uh, just food for thought you can get anywhere from three to to eight uh, going through here again. Now, I don't have a mark here, but I'm just proving to you that there is uniques here. Uh, I did catch this in the run, but uh, just to save marks, you can cast anywhere out there around that tree. You don't have to cast out too far. There's another unique 13.2. There's the setup. Now, keynote on this, uh, David from the GTF Health Man, a long time ago on the channel, just you want to you know use small gear in this. You don't want to use a big ollie in this. It seems to help with a mono leader over the top there. Feel free to pause and rewind that. But special thanks to David from the GTF Good Times Fishing uh, for making me think a long time ago, uh, especially on bait comps, guys. On the bait comps, if you can match up your gear properly, seems to help. Since he told me that uh, probably about three months ago or so, it has made a big difference. Uh, even on all, I started reevaluating all my setups for uh, hit the line jack, any of the bait comps. It doesn't seem to affect you much on, on lure competitions, but on bait comps in particular, even like on Bobber Burbit, uh, you know, you don't want to use like a heavy chaser on Bobber Burbit or, you know, a, a Brutus. Uh, you're better off with the Phoenix and the Bobber Burbit and that sort of thing. I've noticed ever since he'd said that, even the Cat Boxer on the uh, Hit the Line Jack for the Cornish Jack, that sort of thing. So make sure you guys are getting matching up your gear properly. That will help you out a lot. Now, moving on to this spot over here off the dock. Again, you kind of just let things cycle through, guys. Sometimes it's hit or miss. Like I said, you might get three unique banded. You might get uh, seven or eight of them. And it's all going to boil down to uh, you kind of need the pedestal on this 13.4s. Uh, this was actually the first time I ever got 13.7 in this competition. But uh, again, I wanted to clip all this up and hopefully help that you guys out. Uh, again, uh, baits wise, I like red worms, marshmallows, uh, caddis larvae, uh, blood worms, of course. I think it's good to put a variant out. Just because for the simple fact that uh, you might get the Oscars and stuff out of the way as well. In other words, I wouldn't suggest throwing everything on the same bait. In other words, to diversify, put one of each out there. I hope this really helps you guys out and uh, maybe you can get a pedestal on this as well. I did win the Jigging Spoon, so I hope this helps. Take care and we'll see you in the next one.